under our roof is uh, Sarah, my ex-wife Sarah and her husband. The children are here and we're safe. It's a crazy time, you know? Everybody is affected by this one way or another. Uh, I think we feel fortunate we all have each other. We're part of a big family now. <laughs> The kids are here all the time, and um, which makes it e make even more sense that you know Sarah and Sean would be here. We, we've we've just sort of adopted this uh, naturally, sort of this game plan of we're all in it together. Yeah, we are very close, <laughs> even more now. I mean, we have fun. When she's upset with Sean, and I'm upset with Michael. We just go out together <laughs> to the woods. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the, the, Max and Cece each have their own room. We had a, we have a very nice guest room and that's where Sean and Sarah are staying. And uh, we have our bedroom. Yeah. And, and w thankfully the house has ni nice open spaces. Just happened. It just like, happened. Whatever, I'm gonna see Peach now. And... It was almost developing that way. Sean and uh, Sarah were spending a lot of time here. We were having, we, we had Max and Cece here a lot because of Sarah's health issues and surgery and stuff. So they would just come over and then suddenly, oh, crash in the <laughs> guest room. And then it just became, you know, one big, like sort of nouveau Brady Bunch family that we have. We're all very accepting people. We're people who have seen a lot of different things in life. When it comes to my marriage with Sarah, it wasn't easy. It wasn't just, oh, we're divorced and now, hey, we're best friends. You know, things take time to heal, but the, the ability to forgive, to move on. But Sarah and I probably found a different kind of loving relationship, children together. And that, if nothing else, for both of us, that was first and foremost. Yeah, they love it. <laughs> love it. I'd like to think it's it's a wonderful gift for them, I guess, to see despite having gone through their parents getting a divorce, mm -hmm. but seeing how you can reconcile and there can still be love and there can yeah. still now suddenly we're even bigger family. We're married. <laughs> we're married. <laughs> we're very, very lucky people. We found each other under such um, odd and improbable circumstances. In our life before Juliana even made it to America, which was last July, and then we got married in October, we, we it wasn't easy to try to keep that going while we were working on her K-1 visa to come to America. But I was fortunate enough to have independence <clears throat> and the resources to be able to travel, to be with her roughly a week out of each month for almost two years. But how are you feeling now that you see me every day? Well, I love it. And <clears throat> this was the dream and that we would be together. And I regret the dream, this dream? Of course not. <laughs> I love it. It's We just find out like things that I didn't know about him and he didn't know about me. But... Yeah, normal like, couple normal stuff. Things. Nothing, yeah. that, nothing that's, that's like great. created a big, you know, cracks in the relationship. Depends on my mood in the day. <laughs> Sometimes we, I hate him and he's I'm angry at him. For us, uh, I, I think mostly we got used to not worrying too much about the judge, you know, negative judgment or criticism. I, uh, yeah, I don't care anymore. There's 10, 20, 30 wonderful people that we've gotten to know or that right. are supportive and they, you know, love the story, love the story with Sarah and Sean and the kids and the whole thing. And that, that's what really, we spend more time thinking about that than mm -hmm. somebody who just wants to say, oh, she's a gold digger or I'm right. a creepy old dude. We talk about having yeah, kids, we, but uh, not now. Because I want to be like uh, building my career. And... Right before the um, <clears throat> sort of stay at home orders, the quarantining orders came through, she was, just right there to getting right back into work, modeling work, great modeling work in New York City and elsewhere. 
And um, she does, she still wants to keep that going for a while. Uh, but we want we want to have a family, and, and she's she's such a loving, wonderful person. Thank you. She's wonderful with Max and Cece. Sure. When the time is right, the time is right, I guess. Because right now he's my big baby and I have a baby. Actually, Sarah would love for us to have a, another, a, a baby. Sarah was talking about it. Like, I hope you guys are planning to have babies because I want to, I'd love to feel in a way that motherly bit again. She, she doesn't want to have any more children. We're not doing it. No prenup. Doesn't make sense. It was something that was, cre you know, created some unnecessary um, tension in the relationships. Mm -hmm. uh, and ultimately, um, it wasn't something that was really going to dictate everybody's well being one yeah. way or another, you know? So, we're okay. Me now that I understand what prenup is, it's not gonna be a problem for me to sign something like that. Even if I'm not getting nothing from this relationship, I don't want nothing. understand what was that about, you know, and that's it. I could sign right now. <laughs> <laughs> the disaster, because it started actually before the uh, uh, coronavirus because uh, one, of, one of my main lines of business is importing French wine. In October of last year, actually right around our wedding, out of nowhere, uh, the current administration instituted a 25% import duty on French wines. So that eats so much into what you're trying to do, you have to adjust. And while you're adjusting, then suddenly virus lockdown. One of my biggest client bases is the um, New York City restaurant and, you know, bar. Mm -hmm, yeah. They buy wine. They, they were, did buy, but that's completely shut down now. Yes, without question, I am. Yeah, well, I mean, lifestyle changes anyway. We're all here. Right. We're not traveling. We're not going out to eat. We're not going into the city. We're not doing this or that. So, I mean, naturally, lifestyle change, but, you know, one step at a time. I love my son so much, and I appreciate that he can be his own person. And this was just a silly thing he put, he put up on his Instagram because they were playing like a truth or dare. And so he had one of his uh, friends did makeup on him. And I thought, you know, this is really cool. And he, the, the fact that he had that his own confidence to put it out there. This is me, you know, supporting my son as Max. I think you're a special guy and yeah. I celebrate. Just what quarantine life is for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. You'll see Don and I have been doing uh, a lot of music together. Uh, and then just some normal day-to-day -day stuff. I don't take it for granted. Um, we were meant to be together. And yes, she just happens to be the most loving, most beautiful, most bright-spirited person I've ever met. Thank you.